Morning everybody. Here I am out and about over in Wales again. Uh, this morning I'm, uh, I'm just outside Port Maddock at the moment and I'm off for a ride out onto the Flynn Peninsula. And I've got uh, a trusty old scram with me, stand the scram. Um, so we're off on a, a day's ride in. I think it's about 120 miles round trip today. We went over to get as far west as I can onto Flynn Peninsula and have a look at that little island that sits off the uh, off the end. I'm not quite sure what it's called. So um, that's today's agenda. And uh, we'll catch up with you all again shortly when, uh, when we're back on the bike. So uh, just a quick look at where we are. This is where we are at the moment. In beautiful northwest Wales. And there is trusty old Stan the Royal Enfield Scram. So, catch up with you later. Right, so hello again. We're back on the bike now. And uh, heading over now uh, towards Pacelli. Um, I hope you'll uh, come along on this ride with us. Not sure whether it will end up being one ride, one video, or two videos. Uh, we shall see. But uh, main thing is at the moment, come along with us and see where it, let's see where it goes, because none of us know yet. Uh, hopefully, you'll find something uh, interesting to see. It really, is a lovely day. It's nine o'clock. Set off of uh, just after eight. I set off about ten past eight. Uh, fueled up in uh, Dufferin, and uh, so we're on the move again now. Well, the first port of call that we sort of touch upon. Gonna be for Sally. There is really is nowhere like Wales in the sunshine, is there? Such a beautiful place. Looks like something special coming into view down here now. Look at that. Wowza. Wowza, wowza, wowza. And a castle up on the hill. This is Cricket. This is the birthplace of David Lloyd George, I think. Might be wrong. Stunning place. Strange direction to a beach. And that's a sight for sore eyes, isn't it? Wow. into this ridiculous 20. Tell me what the point is. The point is there isn't any point. chance to just slowly uh, take in the, the town. Oh, 
Oh, she knows. As we approached Bethali, I wonder if that was the Butlins, I don't know. Who knows? As we approached Bethali, um, I have, uh, have memories of Bethali. A um, little story, um, I was a, a brought up by a single parent, my mum, my mum brought me up. and. Uh, she was a uh, cleaner, she did a part-time job as a cleaner. Uh, and the uh, people she worked for, she didn't really, we didn't really get a chance to go on holidays. So they uh, sort of bought, paid for her to, to go on holiday. And I think it was, as I recall, it was two weeks. So it was two weeks and uh, she decided that a good place to go would be to Butlins, at the fairly Butlins holiday camps. And I think what happened was, is that my mum paid for one week, so just for the two of us, and uh, the people she worked for paid for the, the second week, so she could have two weeks on holiday, two weeks holiday. And I think it was in the August of 1975, late August, 19, I think it was the last two weeks of August, or the last week of August, first week of September, because my birthday is on the 6th of September. Anyway, um, so we came to Bethelli, I think we caught the coach from Digbeth Coach Station in Birmingham, and uh, we came to Bethelli, Butlins. I'll, I'll put some pictures on the screen if I can find them, uh, so you can have a look. So, um, yeah, so we, we came for this two weeks holiday, came up on the coach, I would have been uh, 10 at the time, 10 years old. And uh, okay, the first week went all went okay. Uh, and towards the end of the first week, I caught, or I developed, I don't know whether you catch it, but I developed gastroenteritis. And I really was poorly. I can remember it, I really, really was poorly. And uh, um, what happened was, is we, I think my mum cut the holiday short. And we went home. And I was, I think I got well enough to go home. So uh, she cut the holiday short and we went home. Uh, second exit. So that cut that holiday short. Um, and we went home and uh, she cut the holiday short a week early. And I think it was my birthday the following week. And uh, I think she went out for a night out with her friends. Um, and she met somebody, uh, a guy that eventually became his stepfather, Barry. And she met him, I think, on my on the birthday, or round about my birthday. So it would have been round about the 6th of September 1975. Um, uh, she went out and she met this guy. Uh, they because they would... Um, there was an organisation at the time, I know it's, it's called Gingerbread, and it was for one parent families, and it's so it gave an opportunity for single parents to socialise and meet uh, other people in the same predicament, and, and that's where she met him, went through one of these events. And if I remember correctly, I think the, uh, the place they met, they del delving deep into my memories here, was a, was a pub or a, a, a place called the Crown and Cushion in Perry Bar, which is by Perry Bar uh, railway station. I think that's gone now, that, that pub. And uh, then they extended and rebuilt the railway station. So that's a, that's a little uh, memory of Bethelli for me. I remember going to be down on the beach. Uh, I can remember watching some sort of shows, red coat shows, stuff like that. And I've, I've got pictures, I'll say, if I find think these pictures out, I'll, I'll just put them up on the screen. If you're interested, if you're not, just move, just, just, just move on. But that's Bethelli and its memories for me.
I also remember about that holiday camp, that police holiday camp, is you'd be woken up in the morning with them playing the theme from the Deer Hunter. Remember that vividly. Um, not a bad thing to wake up to. And I also remember ending up in what must have been like the medical quarters or, or whatever it would have been when I was being, you know, really poorly and uh, getting an injection in my backside, I think, to stop me from vomiting. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Hello, Pathelli. Should have gone there, I think. Oh, well. This is where Beeline doesn't play particularly well. We're all right, though, I think. Just cutting through Patelli. Pretty similar to Barmouth, a bit bigger. So a lot of these Welsh, little Welsh towns are all very similar in appearance. required to turn left. I'm trying to put me back on course, I think. It's bank holiday tomorrow. But we'll be going home on the bank holiday. So we've got another bank holiday just at the end of the month, haven't we? So, Whitson, wouldn't it? Might try and book a week off at Whitson. Oh, look at me leave. See what I've got. So I'm only through here the town. I think so now. Yeah, old grainy pictures of, uh, there's one particular picture which I, I've already shown you, or I'll show you now, is of, uh, of me and my mum, as they came round at sort of meal time and took your picture, and then you think you paid for them. Uh, the black and white picture of me and my mum sat at the table in sort of these big uh, dining rooms they had, uh, and I'm wearing my six million dollar man Vest on. Because at the time, the six million dollar man, Lee Majors, as Steve Austin, we can rebuild him. Um, that was uh, that was what we what we had to watch on the TV. And as a young uh, young lad, brilliant stuff. And uh, yeah, and the haircut. <laughs> Oh, miss, miss, miss me mum. Really do miss me mum. She was a cantankerous bugger. She really was. She's not the easiest woman to get along with. But I don't know, I miss her. Right, so what I've done, I've set a route to try and take me away from the um, sort of the main drags, and hopefully this is going to go back across some quite nice roads, but we'll see. So we're exploring together now. Fingers crossed we get to see something nice together. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? So these are roads that we haven't I haven't ridden before, so we're turning left in 0.7 miles. Definitely haven't ridden this road before.
This ride, I think, with me doing little stops, is probably going to end up being around six hours. Oh dear, the Thaddy Rugby Club. It's full for animals, play by gentlemen. <laughs> This time, get it right now, he's turning it to turn left. Oh, lovely. Oh, this is blooming lovely, look at this. Wonderful. And there's a river. Oh, that's an interesting one. Is that a river or is that a stream? And when does a stream become a river? What's the difference between a river and a stream? I suppose the river is when you walk, is the main uh, waterway that streams run into and then it ultimately ends up in the sea. I suppose that's the difference. The bluebell's beautiful. Oh, this is lovely. Wow, is that? Absolutely gorgeous bluebells. Look at this. This is incredible. So we are on the uh, on the Flynn Peninsula now. Oh, it's just awesome. <laughs> in the strangest place. Really loud, 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 loud day. This is superb. Abadara. So I can't believe how lucky I am to be able to do this.
do a bit of dirty road here. And weave our way through the, uh, the less mucky bits. Coming down, yeah. Just fabulous. Peter, our friend Lane's Explorer. Well, this is uh, this is your kinds of roads, I think. I know you like them slightly narrower. <laughs> but I think there's uh, going to be a few visits back here because I need to go and look at some of these side roads as well. You could just get yourself immersed in this for just hours and hours and hours, couldn't you? I'd love to live out here like this, in a place like this. I'd absolutely love it. Can I get a picture of the bike with that in the background? I'm sure I can. Just beautiful, so quiet. Just the sound of the birds. Incredible. Oh, it's just lovely. Absolutely lovely.
Come on, is that quiet? What a sound. I'll interrupt it with the sound of this beautiful machine. 